Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. Okay. I don't play Isaac very often anymore. Character is a rare, rare thing to show up. I do get the D6 every so often though, so that kind of evens it out. Alright, make sure to touch this so I'm more likely to get libraries. And then give it a nice reroll, skip the peeper, because I don't like it. Doesn't offer much of an advantage at all, and offers the ability for my bombs to be pushed back at me, which I don't really like. Because that happened one too many times, so now I don't take it, because it's not good. Like, I, I humored it, because it's like, yeah, okay, it's not that bad. Then it pushed just one too many bombs, and I was like, alright, I'm done with you. You never hit anything anyway. Alright, we can wait on this, because that's the smart thing to do. And perfect timing, because we get a curse room. We are getting another reroll. So I'm fine using that on the curse room. Alright, this could get us lard. Wouldn't be a bad item to get. Besides the speed down, I suppose. I'm amazed that didn't hit me. That too. I feel like I'm doing something right right now, and I don't know what it is. But that's not something that's worth complaining about. I'm, v I'm very much doing something right. I just... this is magic. Alright, cool. So now that we have a reroll, I'm going to the curse room. Got a key out of that too, which is good. Got nothing for that, and it's not worth rerolling in the item room until I've seen the boss room at this point. Again, gotta wait for that. Come on, you can do it, Isaac. And nice, a tinted rock. Happy to see that. Can't get both that and the chest, though, sadly. Perfect, small rock. That's one damage up, 0.2 tiers up, and 0.2 speed down. It is special, so I want to wait to pick it up, because special items make each other less likely to appear. And most special items are pretty good, so I want to be able to find them. Then we're good. Fight double monstro, okay. That shouldn't be too bad. It's really an okay fight. And I'm hoping that I just get like a health up or something so I can reroll the item room, get magic mushroom to go with my small rock, and then everything will be great. That's the plan. We'll see how well the game wants to like play along, follow me, take my lead. You know, I told it what the plan was, it just has to decide that it can execute that and not be an idiot. I'm really getting lucky at dodging some tier barrages that I should not be able to dodge. I'm actually okay taking a box. Box is good. Okay, I was hoping for the uh, Joker, but I did not get it. So I doubled my money and that's all good. Got a bomb, so I can do this. Alright, Ace of Spades gets me more card drops. I don't need this, but I'll end up taking it. Since I'm gonna use this pill after I pick up all the stuff that I'm picking up. Okay. Reroll, you're gonna be great. This is a strong start, though. I'm happy pretty much regardless. Okay, I get lard anyway. That's a speed down. Box isn't a speed down. That's a common misconception that at least used to exist. But it is not the case. I'm not going to worry about the health that I'm not picking up right there. What are you? Telepills secret room. Okay, so now I get to go to the shop. There aren't really special items in the shop. I don't think there are any special items in the shop pool, so... I don't have to worry about having picked up the small rock there, which is another speed down, like I said, so I'm kinda slow. Okay, I'm gonna buy the key, and I'm gonna leave. Still have 15 cents, everything's all good. Okay. I'm pretty happy, though. This is a good start. There's health in the boss room. I just need some speed up, which means hopefully I'll get, like, the mark. And that'll be fine. Not quite fine, but pretty pretty okay. That's full health. I'm gonna drink some water as we get to the next floor. And 
All right. I'll, I'll use a key for this. Maybe worthwhile. Not really worthwhile. What are you? Candle, no thank you. I will buy the key and the soul heart. And then I will leave. Looking for that speed up, that glorious, glorious speed up. We will get there. Okay. Not bad. We have enough that we could have gotten an arcade on this floor. Or we had enough, and we still do, but that was how much we have now isn't relevant. Okay, fine with me. We're gonna perfectly get a reroll here, so that's awesome. That was a little faster than expected. Alright, Pin, you are going to stand no chance. And what I want here is, I guess, a speed up, honestly. That's not a speed up. You were wondering. Okay, I can afford two items here. We're gonna reroll. We're not gonna buy either. We're gonna head off. We also wouldn't have been able to get to the boss challenge room just because of that uh, deal with the devil, so... Well, we could have if we took the dead cat, but I'm not taking the dead cat right now. So we could have, but we couldn't have with things that I reasonably wanted. Like, the dead cat isn't worth just getting a boss challenge room. It doesn't provide me enough advantages for that. I'm in mishap. I most want to reroll in the boss room, I think. I'm most likely to get, like, a speed up there. And I think that's actually the most important thing. I'm not going to say I'm going to get a reroll, but there's a chance. All right, awesome. And we get to go to the boss challenge room after all if the uh, blood donation machine cooperates. If not, the good thing about this is that I could get either a blood bag or an IV bag, and both of those things are good because one's a speed up and the other's all the money I could ever ask for. So there's pretty much no way this can go that does not make me happy. All right, awesome. And then I can pick up the two hearts from the lovers, use them to play it more, see what I get still. So if this room has a decent um, item in it, I can just take that. Oh, thank you, you're awesome. Then since I don't need to reroll that, I'm gonna go ahead and reroll the boss room. Even though I'm getting the speed up I want, maybe I get something like Jesus Juice, which is 0.5 damage up and a bit of a range up. So that's pretty sweet too. Basically everything's going really well, and that's not a problem for me at all. So now I'm somewhere around Isaac's base speed, which is perfect. Got good damage, a little bit of an improved fire rate. And good times. I have all the good times. Larry Jr. almost hit me there, but it's okay. I got this under control. And again, with all of the health that's laying around, I can play the blood donation machine more. Since I have a fair amount of soul hearts, we're totally cool. I needed another bomb, actually. If I can pick up three hearts. That's two of them, the other one's here. And now we get to go play some more. Get more money or get a blood bag or IV bag, which is also more money, I suppose. And then we're out of here, since we've done everything I can. All right. Money. Money is good. All right, that's how you want to play it. That's fine. See how much I have here. I will spend more money, seeing if I can get more health here. 
I don't normally, but right now I'm feeling like it might be okay. Unless this dude doesn't pay out at all. At which point it's not worth it. I expected to win that and nothing else. So I guess I can say I'm pleasantly surprised or something. Okay, seriously, can I just win one? Thanks. Bad luck. That's really all there is to it. Alright, sweet. It's just a 1 in 15 chance every time we play this for us to uh, get an item. And it's a 50-50 chance for it to be either of the two items. Alright, man. I know what you're doing, and I don't appreciate it. Okay, I actually really like that. Needed some bombs. Really want hearts and keys, though. Those are, like, the two most important things in my life. Nope. I'll just keep shooting at you. I will cry on you until the end of the world. Or, more realistically, the end of your life. Especially now that I have enough bombs. To spare one on you. I'm only gonna take this down to 15. Understandably, perhaps. Darn. Darn again. The darnening. Ah, come on, I would have liked that. In all honesty, I would have. Just because you're a jerk, I'm killing you. No other good reason. Alright, this is fine. I'll use this money on the fortune teller. This is only two cents anyway. You two can survive, though. I'm fine with that. And now we'll check for the secret room. I'm not going to gamble anymore if I get money. Alright. Alright. We can now leave the second floor. Feeling good about life, I would say. Thereabouts, at least. Cool times. Easy room. It's only the caves as well, which is great. Even though I, I don't actually need the caves for once, I feel like I'm on par for the catacombs. It's always awesome to get the caves, or, you know, the depths, or whatever else. Having a library here is quite nice, actually. Since I just got a reroll, and the library books are things to reroll that could get me double item room items. If I'm vigilant. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use that. Gets me a soul heart and a guaranteed horseman fight. I can only use one of the two, they share a charge. Need to do two more rooms before going there. And the beggar is more appealing to me than any shop ever could be. So don't you worry about that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Cool. Also cool. Hmm, that was a close one. The Empress damage and speed up for a room. May as well make use of it, I figure. Since I'm gonna keep the High Priestess instead. So I want to play this jerk. It's not really a jerk, honestly. He hasn't done anything to me. Alright, Eternal Heart. That's a health up if I can get to the next floor or get another Eternal Heart. I want to wait to pick it up if possible. Health up. Sweet. Not much to complain about here. This is going well. Look at that bomb perfectly hiding the Eternal Heart. Where'd it go? I forgot it existed. I'm actually really glad that I took the Empress to this room. Because this is an annoying fight. 
I probably won't get a devil or angel room. Remember, I do have an angel room chance since I skipped the last devil room completely. There is the chance. Probably won't get it. Unlikely, but possible. I also won't be getting a cube of meat here. Oh wait, yes I will. No, I won't. Okay. Much as I'd like to reroll that, it's absolutely going to be better for me to reroll in the uh, library. Awesome. This is actually really awesome. Getting two books instead of just one. And then we can go back to our other path, pick up our High Priestess, be in good shape. This run, going swimmingly. Not many runs go so swimmingly, that's not true. They do. I'm asking questions to myself that I haven't even asked uh, the world yet. What can I do? What can I do? Sweet, three shot kill. That's always good news. That's fine. Six cents and stuff. Okay. Actually pretty lucky so far. Might be getting another reroll. I'm just gonna pop the magician so that I don't have to deal with it. There still has to be a shop on the floor, so there's a good chance of me getting another uh, fighting room to reroll. Cool. I'm fine taking that because I don't have many bombs and need them. Oh, well. Alright, no other fighting room, no other reroll then. Could have used the pony to get here. Not worried about my bomb count that much. Permit, no thanks. Mr. Mega, five more bombs, increased blast radius and damage. I never have to do the leave the room and re-enter trick now. I haven't seen an early Mr. Mega in a while. Uh, no chance of greed in the shop, so I don't really have a reason to go in there. Secret room only has one good location, it looks like. So I will check that out. It's next to the library, hint. There were no blood donation machines that I was interested in, so I can take that now. Perfect. Three cents. All right, that means I have an arcade chance on the next floor, which is good news. And we can be on our way. I didn't pay attention, so I don't know if there were any doors that appeared or not. All right. Scary room, man. But I did it. It's not a library, so I'm really not interested in going there because I don't have the money for it. Darn, I barely didn't kill it. Unfortunately. Alright, so this way was a, pretty much a bust. Since I don't care about the shop. Alright, both of those could be the secret room. That's annoying. Just means that I have to wait until later to give a better judgment. Stupid jerks protecting the host. Alright. Cool, I don't really... Well, I guess I can try this. Alright, so now I know that's not the secret room. Which I would have guessed had I gotten, um... Darn, I'm a little too slow. That was the right dodge, it was just not possible, apparently. Alright. Arcade. I don't need it for anything at the moment, but that's good to know it's there. That was my own fault. That would have hit all of them. Well, I guess this could easily get me enough money for the top. Which probably is going to end up being greed anyway. I can for afford, like, a decent amount on this, so I'm not worried. 
Alright, this is all you're getting. Get this here poop. Head back to the shop because I've got nothing to reroll yet. I'm sure I'm gonna find something in the room after that. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna go for it. 50% chance it's greed since I don't know yet if there's another mini boss on this floor. Not greed, I want the compass, I want the soul heart. And I can afford the red heart, so I guess I'll take it. Compass points me towards all of the icon rooms on the floor. Just not how to get to them. A lot of them are pretty obvious, but not always. There's a small chance of me getting a secondary roll here. Okay, don't go there or go there. Fine, you're dead anyway. You asked for it. I'm gonna get hit here. As long as I didn't get double hit and I didn't, so it's fine. Uh, that's all that matters. The sun. Okay. Easy reroll there. I'm gonna reroll it. Just gonna take that in anticipation of getting other stuff. So I'm gonna go back to the li not the library. There's not a library. To the arcade. Get ready to use this sun card, but this gets me into the boss challenge room, so I don't want to use it right away. Dead bird spawns when I take damage in a room. Does two damage per hit. All right. It's dumb enough that it's not a problem to have. All right, cool. That went pretty well. Now let's go up this way. I should be able to get a reroll here. I'm pretty confident that there will be at least one fighting room. Then again, what do I know? All right, so this is a strat that works with wait, the leaving and re-entering trick that I don't need because Mr. Mega. Okay, good. The boss challenge room is exactly the same. Yeah, I'm interested in that. Which is why I'm willing to do that, because that'll just kill Larry Juniors immediately and then give me a pretty easy fight with this monstro. Where it's already 100 health down. Sun, 1000 red hearts of recovery. Um, 100 damage to every enemy in the room, and the full map for the floor. Of course, not including the top secret room. Okay. So we can go here now. All right, that was not bad either. I'm not too worried about the arcade anymore though. It got me what I wanted it to. And that's what counts. Dirty should not be too bad since I got a .7 tiers up is good. I managed to get hit twice already. That's not good. Thrice? Just using bombs for convenience at this point because I'm apparently not dodging Dirty properly. Which I'm definitely not. I'm not saying that I am. Anything's going the way it shouldn't. Alright. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Okay, I'm going to drink some more water. Game's good and frozen, and then it unfroze. Curse the Labyrinth, that sucks, so I'm not going to get a Devil Room. Because I don't have a teleport to get out of there. That's great. I love when that happens. Sorry, or Angel Room, since I still have that chance, since I haven't seen either one in the entire time since the second floor, due to bad luck. And now, due to bad luck, I'm pretty likely not to see another one. Except that I'll earn it, and then I won't see another one after this, so I'll have a one Devil Room run. That'll suck. I'm really hoping we have a little bit better luck than that. I'm just not hopeful. 
I expect that I will only see that one devil room this entire run. That seems like the life that I am likely to lead. Dude, I am getting so wrecked by this room, my damage has not scaled anymore. I need more at this point. This is a bad run now. It was a great start, now it's weak. Oh, that didn't manage to hit either of the... Ah. That's fine. 12 bombs, so I need to use them somewhat efficiently. Ish. Alright, come on. Hot. Item room, I'm gonna need you to be great. I've got a lot of chances to reroll you, though, so... Won't hesitate. No, that's not bad. But I, I'm, I'm working on miracles right now. What I need. So, of course, first things first. I'll do the close-up rooms to get the rerolls for the close-up item room. And then as I spread my way to the other item room, I will worry about it then. Now, if I intentionally take red heart damage on this floor, that would make it so that I'm less likely to earn that devil room that's just going to screw me over. And that sounds like a good thing. Probably is. Might happen unintentionally, might happen intentionally. Either way, I'm really not happy anymore. This is not going well. Oh, don't troll me too hard, please. Okay. Oh, that was weird. Unexpected. That wasn't, though. That was fine. There we go. Knew that one would work. Alright, so now let's reroll again. See how that goes for me. Again, really gonna need some luck. So I'd appreciate your utmost cooperation, Isaac. Not quite. Not quite at all. Could be useful, but I'm not gonna keep it. I'm not gonna I'm gonna reroll that immediately. No doubt. No library again, by the way. You didn't catch that. So I'm not getting that whole thing going. My luck ran out after those first couple floors. Oh well. Maybe it'll turn itself around in the near future. You would. You actually followed through. GG, dude. Darn it, that's my fault. But now that I've actually lost my soul hearts, I can intentionally take damage and it wouldn't be a bad thing like I said before. I'm going to hold off on it because I'm probably going to unintentionally take damage. But I won't be upset. So it's time for another reroll. Let's see where that goes. What do you got? No. This is worrisome. So we're now making these long pads happen. And since this one seems actually more likely to be the dead end path, I'm going to do this one. Kind of what I thought. Okay. Red boom fly, actually kind of nice. Safer. Okay, I would like you to die. I would like you to die. And then I would like all of you to die. There's a mini boss, so this is a shop. Habit, alright, I might need that. Okay. Range down, that sucks. Habit uh, gets me a half reroll. Three ticks of charge every time I get hit. So, can be used to reroll a lot. Book of Belial, plus two damage, but it's another book out of the library pool, which is good. So now the arcade becomes really valuable. 
in that I suddenly have a source of a lot of rerolls and also money. Money that I don't need, but money. So we've got that going for us. Uh, I would love to have scapular by now, but I don't, so... That's not a thing that I can look upon in happiness. But right now, we're just kind of flying by the seat of our pants and seeing how the game's going to treat us. I knew you'd shoot again. Don't worry. I know you better than you know you. Right. Okay, in this room, I kind of want them all to be regular boom flies just so I can really chain react everything. That was a little risky, I guess. Alright, let's go reroll again. See if it wants to give me anything useful this time. Because I'm still pretty lacking. And I've also got that Book of Belial that I can reroll if I need to. Like if I get something here, have another reroll available and all that good stuff. Not worth it at this point. Really not. So I'm not going to bother with that. But I already have the compass, and I already have pretty good ability to find secret rooms if I need to. can get much more out of an item room, given my setup here with rerolls galore. Ah, this is really, really, really not going well. Gonna need some strong luck to get a recovery here. Alright, magic damage incoming. Not unlucky yet, but I will be. Alright, so that gets me a reroll. Loses me my devil room chance. Second high priestess, okay. And now we've got rerolls. We've got plenty of hearts on the ground. I wish it weren't so far away, it being the arcade. But we've also got an item room right there, so I can reroll that first. And then worry about all this health if I need to. So we've got we've got backup plans, pretty much what I'm saying. No, please. I need your help more than this game. For real. Alright. We could theoretically make it to this next item room, I think. Yeah, we could make it and just get the reroll then. I'm not going to count on it, but it's possible. Well, that was pretty lucky. Alright, so I'm going to do that because I want to backtrack a little less. Oh, but I'm going to get hit here, so never mind. Never mind me and my dreams. Yep, told you. That got worse and worse until it was finally not doable. Screw it, I don't care. Ha! Get owned, game. I don't want the relic. It's good. It's worth it. That's better. Honestly, that's better. I'm not even kidding. I'm sad I had to get it in this freaking item room, though, because... Now I'm stuck backtracking again. I really can't win here. I'm just getting myself hit not intentionally here either. Just getting caught on parts of the level and doing bad movements now. Let's try turning it back up. I should not have taken that. Oh well. Shouldn't have taken the heart either just because the boss challenge room is 
possible. But let's finally open this. Could have had an item in it. For you. Using keys just so backtracking is more convenient. There are a lot of full hearts. This is really good. I want to take advantage of rerolls. Which I do and I don't because, oh my god, the backtracking. Nah, he's not worth it. Theoretically possible, but not really. Moving down there and then up and stuff was pointless, it turned out. Just did it naturally, I guess. Alright, so let's clear through the first boss before we do any fancy business, I guess. Because that way, I have the most chance to not have to do all of the tedious stuff, and I can just do some of the tedious stuff. Alright, Lust wouldn't mind getting the virus, but I'm still not that fast. Happening, though. That's another 0.1 speed down. But 30 damage on contact and 3.5 damage over time for 3 ticks is good. Alright, that's 2 thirds. I almost wish I took this Bollinger hat just so I knew if there was a nice shortcut with the bomb through a secret room. Because that's about what I need right now. Man, is this just backtrack city. And it sucks. But I need it, because otherwise this run is super dead. And that's unfortunate. That's another High Priestess card. I can try using the current one to get into the boss challenge room without uh, having low health. May as well, I guess. Because it's not like I'm going to have another use for it, really. Kill the first boss quickly. Maybe worth it. Maybe it's like the bloat. Come on. Seriously, though? All the bad items are lined up. Like, that's not a bad item, it's just not a good item right now. So it's a bad item at the moment. Getting wrecked? I am getting wrecked. <sighs> Didn't work? Alright. I can't say I expected it to, I've never gotten it to work, no matter what I've done. It's possible, I just don't know how. Even though people have explained it, I can't do it. I just cannot make it happen. Alright. Oops, well I guess I'm backtracking yet again. This is why I love being weak. I get hit a lot, and then I have to backtrack even more. This better be worth it one of these days. One of these days, man. I got this. I believe... So badly I want to believe, but I don't actually. I'm lying to you because I just it can't be done. <sighs> Come on. You can do it, game. I want you to be able to do it at least. Why can't strong starts just say like stay strong? Okay. That's one item. Handled. 20% chance of just under 7 seconds of invincibility on hit. It's useful, I guess. But now I never have to go over there again. Just have to go to the other one. 
and I can only use so much health because I don't have scapular, so this habit isn't that useful. That's... that's that. Let's go left here. Secret room actually looks like it's a convenient shortcut there. I have 16 bombs, I'm willing to use them for that. Since it should be the secret room. Fallen, that's useful, except I don't get a reroll because it would reroll to... Um, a normal boss drop due to being the first of the two bosses on an XL4 rather than the second. The second boss is the tool that's actually used. And of course, I'm also willing to use my bombs for this fight, not just for backtracking more conveniently. Eh, whatever. Not a big deal. Yep, that's happening. The game just pushed me too hard. That's not the secret room. Of course it's not. So I'm actually not really advantaged for this either. I got a range down, so my my charge speed's not great. It's okay though. Uh, my tears, they're okay. Whatever, I'll take them. Don't need the boss challenge room too much now. We'll get this reroll, and then we're probably just gonna go fight the boss now that we have the knife. The game has overwhelmed me with tedium. So I'm I'm pretty pretty defeated. Unless this is like incredible. Not at all. Not at all. So I'm just going to fight the boss. Now that I've got this going for me. And then we can finally be on our way to greener pastures, I suppose. Full of not being ruined and not XL gigantic backtracking. Yes, I want to check just to be sure. Around the boss challenge room, see if it does have the secret room. It shouldn't, but it may. Oh, it also could be next to, uh, it could be above the boss challenge room. We'll go through the, uh, the arcade to check that. Because it's actually a really long backtrack if I want to go the other way and check the other room. Of course I can't bomb through the top, or the boss challenge room itself if I could even get in there. Alright, fine. Not there either. Don't want to blow the um, skull game up because it would count as a beggar to increase my devil room chance and I don't want that. Alright. Regular mom. No big deal. Just camp it out. Jeez. Dead range up's actually important. And Polaroid time. Let's go. Not gonna happen. Because I wasn't paying attention, so I didn't see if it was or was not. I was pretty sure it was not. But I honestly just had to check anyway. Based left, always correct. That's why I should have gone left first. Uh, yeah, oh well. I'm gonna lose my devil room chance, and that's gonna suck. Then I'm gonna try and fail to get into it using High Priestess, and then I'll be sad, and then that'll be life. This is also going to be wrong. Okay, or do that. That's also reasonable to expect. Okay. Just want to be extra careful, because I would like to not get hit if possible. What are you? Health up? I didn't really need that, but is this a half heart? Yes, it is. So now I have a Polaroid invincibility available at the end of my health. 
And that's great with the knife, so I've got that. Nope. Nope. Please, no. Okay, no bad luck there. No bad luck there either. Cool. Handling this effectively. And with my damage is actually like, it's okay with the knife. Don't. If you would please just don't. <laughs> That's all. All right, boss, who are you gonna be? Teratoma. Easy possible mistakes here. All right, well, this has been terrifying. Just like, don't throw your knife, 2014. get spiders to walk into your knife 2014 and we actually got an angel room no screw you you're too late I needed you and you failed me Squeezy is tears up in two soul hearts so that's a faster knife charge and we got the relic after all every five rooms a soul heart drop all right could have one of these floors the odds of that are pretty low but every so often the game gives you a gift. Thank goodness I did not get wrecked there. Every so often the game gives you a gift. A gift of beauty. Oh, come on. I didn't want you to charge that much. Eh, whatever. It's fine. You can use that invincibility to kill the other ones pretty conveniently. There we go. Now let's check out these fires if they want to be kind of kind-hearted souls. They didn't really. One coin that I don't need. By the way, I haven't seen a library until now since like the second floor. So good luck. Free tints rocks though. I like those. This might be the right way. Might not though. I'm going to have faith. Yeah, I have faith. I think we're good. Killed the red boom fly quickly enough so it counted as a uh, both boom flies, conveniently enough to blow up the tinted rock. It's a good strat. Got a soul heart, so that room evened out. And trolled. Got trolled. Did I not? So it's not this way. That's impossible now. Let's go base left. You can always just go there right away. That's a possible secret room below there. Should shoot the fires. Okay, apparently this is just free anyway, so I'm glad I didn't use bombs for it. Yeah, that's fine. Let me kill you a little more easily. And then since I'm going to be able to open all the chests in the chest, I'm just not going to worry about the... Oh, I should worry about the thing, because I'm going to get hit at least twice. Yeah. Alright, it wasn't the secret room anyway. Just what I needed, just in time, too. Two bad items. Awesome. Well, means I don't have to see them in the chest. And that's what counts. So we've got full red hearts available. At least one. I didn't remember. I already don't remember what the first uh, room next to the library is. But it's fine. We've got at least one full red heart. And if that's a half heart, we have two. If it's a full heart, we have two and a half. But we don't want the half because, of course, then that would ruin my Polaroid invincibility. And that's that. Nope, 
Nope. That was lucky. So every so often you just have a perfect Isaac fight and then you're sad because now you don't have a reroll available like you planned. And then you don't know what to do besides take mini mush because you really need a speed and range up. Still, that was not expected. Whoa, dude, chill. Alright, so uh, this is a don't throw your knife room. And that's all we need. Oh, don't want that. Have a reroll. Time to use it. I can't believe I actually managed to walk into it. I was so sure the knife would handle it before I could have any problems. Alright, Wafer turns all damage into half a red heart, which means I no longer need to worry about um, having a half heart available or not. Just take whatever I want, whenever I want. Okay, this room sucks. I'm just gonna tank it. That's telepills, never use that in the chest. Unless you've got another one, I guess. But it's not worth it because you could get an Iamera room and in the chest that is an empty room with no doors or anything and no hope of survival. How do I keep getting hit after it's destroyed, man? Full orbitals, I like the sound of that. Yeah, screw you. I'm just shooting you now because I should have been doing that all along. This looks like the right way. That doesn't mean it is, though. It is. Okay. Now we know. Hey. Oh, you would have... Pestilence would have done that for me. Okay, so we won't get another reroll. And that's okay. Razor blade. No thanks. I'll give it one chance to be the forget me now, I guess. I don't think I saw it already. I can successfully tank this totally easily. Especially if I get that invincibility. I will give you one go. Thanks for the speed up. But the game was rude to me, and I just, I'm, I'm done with this run. This run was rude. It was too rude for me. I hope you did enjoy it, though. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.